Hey guys, if you followed any of our social channels or read up on the latest watch news, then you've probably heard about our recent launch of the new Stratotimer GMT that houses the new Miyota 9075 Traveler's GMT movement. These are currently on pre-order on our website with shipping starting sometime in March. And today I'm here to talk about our candy corn colorway. The watch was initially designed to have a black dial, which was how it was prototyped. But after sending out surveys and receiving feedback, you guys really wanted to see it in a white dial, and so we changed it. And so for the first time, here is the production quality version of our candy corn variant. Of the three colorways we are currently offering, this one certainly stands out the most with its bold orange bezel that's contrasted with a silvery white dial, which is also then contrasted with dark metal indices and a handset. When it comes to GMTs in general, it's tough to disassociate an original design with the iconic Rolex Master GMTs as they have essentially owned the Pepsi and root beer color combinations. So anytime you see a wash that has a red and blue bezel, it's tough to look past those colors and appreciate the actual design of the watch, understandably so. The reason why I love our candy corn color variant is precisely because it's unlike the Pepsi and you're able to appreciate the design for what it truly is without ties to some popular colorway. It's a different option for those enthusiasts who already may own some interpretation of a Pepsi. Let's dive a little deeper into the details, starting with the movement. Again, this houses the Miyota 9075 Traveler's automatic GMT movement that features the coveted local jumping hour hand. There are still very few brands that offer this movement, but once you get a hold of one, You'll be very pleased with the actual jumping action. There's a satisfying click as it switches hours, which gives it a high quality feel. The folks at Miyota really knocked it out of the park with this one. Now I've handled the Master 2, Black Bay, and the Grand Seikos, and I must say it's tough to tell the difference, if at all. Now there has been an exhausting ongoing debate about the Collar GMT versus the True or Traveler's GMT, but I'm not here to go into that. All I know from personal experience is that when you're actually traveling through different time zones, the jumping hour hand is very convenient and just fun. For those wondering about how to change the date on a Traveler's GMT, it's really simple. While it doesn't have a quick set date feature, the convenience of the jumping hour hand really speeds up the process and doesn't really bother me. Plus, you can actually go backwards, which is a neat little feature. The bezel has 48 clicks and is bi-directional. For those wondering, this is engineered with ball bearings and it features three of them, which are positioned in a triangular set for optimal click action with minimal backplay. The bezel is then topped off with a beautiful sapphire insert that features C3 Superluminova on the underside. The dial is a silvery white color with a sunray finish, which is contrasted with gunmetal detailing on the indices and handset. Personally, I love the look of this combination between the finely brushed finishing on the indices with the polished chamfer and the contrasting color combo, it really creates some rich dimension on the dial and makes the entire watch very easy to read. The other great feature on the Strato Timer is the toolless micro-adjusting bracelet clasp. It features nine points of adjustment, all while keeping a pretty slim profile from the side. Between the seven row Jubilee style bracelet and the micro-adjusting clasp, you'll always find the perfect fit across all wrist sizes. The links are held together with screw pins, which additionally adds convenience and overall value to the watch. Now you're going to start seeing a few more brands pop up with this movement, but what's unique about ours is that these are being assembled in the US and we are regulating the movements. This is a big deal. We are currently seeing an accuracy of at least plus or minus five seconds a day or better, which is a nice improvement from the stock accuracy of minus 10 plus 30 per day. We at Jack Mason are working tirelessly to provide exceptional products and what we have in store for 2023 are things that you will want to stay tuned for. If you'd like to know more about the Strata Timer, please make sure to watch our more in-depth review where I cover more about the design and features. Please feel free to comment below, like the video, and subscribe to our channel in order to stay up to date on all the new exciting things happening with the brand. Also, please follow us on Instagram and join our Facebook group where we frequently post exclusive content as well as surveys to make sure we stay connected with you. Thanks, y'all.